Alright y'all, it's your boy AYG here And you know, I'm gonna apologize like usual Because I'm behind schedule, you know what I mean? The last video I put out was last Monday Originally, I wanted to do double uploads on the days that I upload Which is really only gonna be like once Possibly twice a week But if I do do twice a week The, the original one is gonna be a double upload the first day And the second one may or may not be later in the week And it's only gonna be one vid I kind of wanted to give y'all some more gameplay and stuff like that. If y'all ain't catch my last just Call of Duty video or my control video, y'all go check those out. If you can catch my Cyberpunk 2077 review, check those out too. Those are all the videos I've done since I've been back from my long hiatus. But yeah, y'all, we just want to get into this. I'm kind of behind also on the fact that the State of Play came out last week. I didn't even know there was a State of Play that day, uh, but I did record it without watching it and just so I could react to it. I'm probably going to make another video where I cut it up. You know what I mean? Kind of like my PS5 reveal, uh, game reveal thing that I did before, you know, this right here. Did yeah, that, where I just kind of give y'all my thoughts on it, uh, but you'll hear some of that here anyways, so we'll see how that goes. But, uh, let's get this. Hey, Joe, so we starting off with them showing There's us some the PS5. very unexpected developments in your future. Shocking events that would change the course oh, of your Crash life. Bandicoot. Okay. <laughs> that last I part might have been a hair dramatic. But there's lots of awesome updates and additions coming to the Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, man, we got this game already. No bow. Yeah. Hey everyone, I'm Lou Stutter, creative producer. I never really played Bob. Crash Bandicoot like that. Uh, Crash Bandicoot I don't know why. You know, uh, it was classic. 4K at 60 frames per second. Adaptive triggers. But when I was younger, I didn't, I didn't really get into it. Let's make this fun. Picking up where Crash Bandicoot Warp left off. I don't even think I ever owned a Crash time. Bandicoot game find myself. Evil masterminds Neo Cortex and Doctor Entropy escaping a once thought okay. inescapable interdimensional prison, leaving giant holes in the universe. What follows is a mind-bending adventure for Crash and his marsupial pals. They all marsupials. We designed Crash Bandicoot. What? What is Crash? Anyway, brimming with bold, I know. vibrant environments and characters. Crash Bandicoot I is always look looking pretty suave. But wait until you see him spinning heads got a in native 4K now? at 60 frames per second. I ain't mad at you. With the weight of the universe on your shoulders and probably some errands to run, there's little time to wait on loading. I want to look it up. The DualSense wireless controllers bring adaptive triggers to your fingertips, so you can feel the blast of Neocortex's DNA. Come out, you play as the, the enemy too. Or feel the grip when you grapple. They may have said that. Shot. I wasn't paying attention. Hold on tight when you feel the boost of Crash's jetboard, and really feel the suck when you vacuum as Dingo Dial. Dingo Dial. Looking to get fully immersed in the Crash Bandicoot universe? That's the best name you can Crank come up it up with. to 11 and take your audio he into an all dingo new dial. dimension with enhanced 3D audio. Oh, he's a dingo, though. Okay, well, there's that. Achieving the infamous 100% completion is the sign of a true Bandicoot master. But should our genetically mutated marsupial lose his way, leverage PlayStation 5 activity cards to track your progress and hit your goals for things like time trials, Let's buck wild. flashback levels, and boss fights. I bet Entropy wishes he had that. Even bring your incomplete save over from the PlayStation 4 and use the activity cards. It's just so funny because it really feels like one of those where it's like oh, you either love it thing. or you, you grow up playing it or you don't really game, play it that much. But I, I still want to give Naughty Dog their, 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 their credit. Details. Whether it's your first anyway. playthrough or your hundredth, anytime you make a classic no game, time to experience Crash Bandicoot yeah, 4 is about it. time on PlayStation 5. Okay. Alright. Crash. What's next? Coming to the PS5 Eternal. Y'all gotta let me know for real. Studios. What y'all, if y'all yeah, are actually thinking about Housemark getting this game or not. I am. I'm on the fence. I really don't know what's going on in it. I mean, none of in us Returnal, do. We know you, you keep getting clapped. And you have to come back. Do you get a save space? Like, I don't know. After receiving a mysterious signal, White Shadow. Players That's our first mistake. I wouldn't approach anything that just said White Shadow just out in space. And unfold mysteries, which may point to a larger force. The astronaut play. and not, not getting caught slipping like that. Dashing and quickly maneuvering your way above and around enemies is key to survival in return. Movement? That's cool. Like there are gonna be a whole lot of demons in this piece though. I'm not really with that. I wonder what to even compare this game to. Enemies and the vast number of unique move sets each possess. 
combat situations prove challenging no matter what the circumstances. Kind of like a God of War situation Death with guns. Is only the beginning. That's a lot of that's a lot of monsters to fight at once. Every time you die and restart, the world will change. The map that will be bullshit. different. Enemies will appear Between in this locations and in differing and rooms. so you have to think fast. And death adapt. loop. I'm I'm perplexed. Here you can see the use of the lightning alt fire, which is great for crowd control. This is one of many alt fires that you can acquire in the game. You will stumble across mysterious devices that can grant rewards to the player. Okay, okay. These will vary from weapons, consumables, My fault, and you know, upgrades, the people's. and they can completely gotta... change your playstyle. Do and I make have each class tonight? Unique. No. Besides the intense combat, Returnal also has a deep and engaging narrative. We allow players to piece together the puzzle that is the story of Selene, as they venture deeper and deeper into Atropos and into her personal nightmare. That's a personal that nightmare. Can't be here. Okay. I think I am reliving my memories in that house, but not fully. They're corroded. Some parts are missing, others seem manufactured. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But I can remember the torment, feeling like I was. Is the whole thing mind. a nightmare? Like, is she sleep this whole time? You feel me? Like, she's actually There's living no through her nightmare. Here. Is what this no is. That's why she keep coming back. Cause you gotta wait in order to wake up. She has to get through everything. This turned into Resident Evil 8 really fast. Oh, shit. I don't want to play it. Exactly as I left. I'm it. not playing. It. Nah. She went to another planet, searching after White Shadow. Crash landed, fought demons, died, Returnal kept coming back, on April 3, and it's all a dream. Developed by the talented team at Housemark. All right. They make battle royales out of everything, bro. This looks like the same world this freaking. Hi, I'm Josh from Bellin Studios. We're an indie developer based in Upstate. Isn't, isn't this we um? announced Knockout City, a team-based multiplayer action game for PS4 where rival crews settle their scores with epic dodgeball battles. That's hilarious, but it might actually be late. <laughs> Knockout City is easy to pick up and play, but there's a lot of depth here for those who've got the skills. In our 1v1 face-off mode, you'll go head-to-head -head in a constantly shrinking battle. This is like Hyperscape with and dodgeball form, bro. A well-timed catch powers up the ball, making it easier to land a hit. Use if you just often make this, I suggest y'all, y'all, you mean? Mess up your opponent's timing file and a, a lawsuit where they can recover. When you're in a tough spot with a ball, <laughs> don't actually. Away, I'm just playing. I don't want to no beef. Getting knocked out and staying in the fight. Keep your wits about you and outplay your opponent to bring home a win. Let's jump See, the thing is, like I said, back in the day, we used to just have games that were just fun. You know, they were just fun. Like Street Volume 2 and that's Sex Trick and all those. I bring up the same ones every time because I still play in Back Alley Street and all that. new map that you'll find in our upcoming crossplay beta. Yeah, we lit. This match is the Sniper Ball, which locks onto targets from far across the map. Damn! You can take them out before they have a chance to react. Beyond Special Balls, each map features a unique mechanic. In Back Alley Brawl, you can hop into a tube and make a quick getaway or use them to sneak up on your opponents. Caught empty-handed? You can literally become the ball, a new Caught weapon for your become teammate. Become the ball. Oh, he did some next level this. Charge up a teammate, launch them high into the air with an ultimate hey. throw, and they'll land in a huge instant KO explosion. That's kind of tough. The team here at Valen has been obsessed with building this world over the last. I feel years. like it's one of those games that I try out, but out it's May possible that I'd lose interest right away. Final stretch of we'll see. It Rally your crew and sign up for our crossplay beta at KnockoutCD.com to play early on PlayStation. I mean, see you soon. It'd be brawls. dope, you know. You just, I mean, playing an epic game of dodgeball. You feel me? And with your friends and stuff, crossplay. That's kind of litty. All right, what's next? Okay. I'm hype. I'm hype. If y'all don't know, your boy loves martial arts games, so I love fighting games. But if we got like a, a third person action martial arts game, and I need that because I haven't had one. You know what this is? 
This is like, um, what was the jelly game? Uh, not the dragon ride. What, what, what was it? Rise to Honor. That jump was fire. Was it? I think that was Jet Li's jump. Hey, that dodge was nasty. Hey. Uh. Get busy. Oh, yeah, big man. Oh, that dude looks serious. Oh, you getting older and older? Now, my thing is, do you get better? Do your attributes switch? Like, as you get older. That was the debut of Sifu coming to the PS5 I ain't mad. Sifu, okay. Now, let's get an update on okay. Solar Ash, an epic new PS5 adventure I'm from here Heart for that. Machine. I'm here for that. That reminds me of the old, old of Rise to Honor and the. Wasn't there. A, I thought there was a Jackie Chan one too, but maybe I'm just thinking about Rise to Honor. I don't know. That's why we have Google, but I gotta focus on this right now. So, I'm, I'm gonna do that. I think they showed us some of this at the, the PlayStation hey everyone, 5 I'm Alex Preston, creative director uh, reveal. You might know game reveal, a exclusive reveal, reveal whatever. Drifter. Today, I'm here to show you the first peek at gameplay for our new title, Solar Ash. It actually looked kind of dope. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I... Solar Ash is like, it a looks huge, cool. stylish 3D platformer focused on speed, movement, and fluidity. Your boy AYG likes when movement is smooth. Known as the Ultra or like a big part of a game. Consuming so. everything in its path. You play as Ray, a daring void runner who has decided to venture into this terrifying void anomaly runner. as a last ditch. Not if I gotta fight that big ass homework. thing. Ray is Spirit. extremely agile, able to speed across the world with abilities. Need God, skating. Jesus, the holy On water. The clouds, she can quickly cover great distances in our huge world. That's At its move. core, Solar Ash is a game about movement, and Ray has everything she needs to flow through the dangerous and unique world. That's tough. See, so almost like this is what you're gonna have to get used to, though. Those where you kind of gotta keep yourself, you know, in midair. As you That's journey to save your planet, time for you'll timing. find yourself face to face with grotesque and violent. I feel creatures. like I'm gonna just fall a lot. Our combat system is simple, fast, and fluid, built to empower players and encourage flow. As you explore the Ultra Void, enemy encounters will scale. That don't sound good at all. Ultra Void, and they get bigger. Some of these creatures require speed and precise timing to defeat. What was that? Ray will eventually Come on, man. We fighting dragons. Of this void. Wretched, starved beasts that hold the key to her quest. Why? It's always some next level drone where it's just like, how am I supposed to do this? Yeah, it look like Rayquaza then just changed his colors. I mean, I don't want that smoke. Solar Ash is Heart Machine's vision of the adventure platformer. The giant spaces, the feel of movement, the flow of combat, and the high stakes battles atop enormous beasts all come together to bring players something we think is incredibly unique and more importantly, fun. That's always the goal, you feel me? Is this game a, is, is a labor of love funny. for everyone on the Heart Machine team. We're excited to bring Solar Ash to PS5 and PS4 later this year. Okay, it ended a little slower than you know you, you would have liked, but it, uh, it, it looks like it's gonna be tough. Games, this next one is for I'm you. not not a fan of scary games, so this one isn't for me. So if we could just skip when over. When I first found you, you were nothing. You were small, pathetic, but now you are more. Are you ready? I'm only watching this for y'all. I hate this. I hate it. I hate this game. I hate it already. Oh, I yeah. That 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 Friday Nights at Freddy. I told y'all in my video. I told y'all the one where I was. Where I told y'all how I was gonna. What games I was gonna play and which games I wasn't going to play. When they showed us the exclusive joint, this was one of the ones I wasn't gonna play. I'm not built for it. If we could just see, I mean, I'm not playing that shit. What do I look like? Gregory, we can get you out of here. You and me. And who's Gregory? Man, I remember telling Gregory he needs to just run though. They won't stop hunting you. None of them will stop hunting you. 
Stop playing with me, bro. We have to get you out by morning. You know what's gonna piss me off if that thing just start, stopped playing the guitar and just started running after him and whatnot. You will do as I say. Oh, demons? You will bring me what I want, and if you fail me, then you will. That was unsettling, Both to say the least. Burn! You know what? <laughs> I hate it. I hate this game. I hate it. I hate it so much. There is more going on here than you realize. I'm trying not to curse. You feel me? Cause like, you feel me? I'm trying to keep it wholesome. That For those of y'all brave enough to play that, John, I commend Up you. Next. Today, I'm gonna take you on a brief tour of our newest game, Oddworld Soulstorm. What is, oh, the second one's called Odd World, World Do you Soulstorm. Know why you have? Or is this like add in on Soulstorm? Everything? You reprise the role of Abe, accidental hero oh, turned Soul unlikely Soul Storm, leader yeah. of an emerging revolution. As you do battle through weird and wonderful environments in an effort to escape the all-powerful and eternally greedy Gluckens. We really uh, wanted to bring mics. this world to life with what we call 2.9D platforming, which adds much more depth and immersion for the player. This sense of connection is also reinforced through the use of the dual senses haptic feedback, as you'll now be able to feel Abe's heartbeat in high alert and suspenseful situations. There are well over 1,000 fellow Mudakins that you must try to save along the way, but they are far more than helpless workers looking to be saved. When used effectively, you'll be able to solve puzzles, harness their combined energy, and be given the tools they need to fight alongside you. And there will be times when the extra hands will be needed as you face off against like I said before when I was watching armed this. enemies that will stop Your boy never played the first Odd World, so I have no feelings one way or another ball. about it. Like, I don't think it, it doesn't look like it's going to be a bad game or anything. Against this much larger threat, I don't play too many we games. We gave Abe the ability to scavenge, loot, and pick with this kind of camera items from his and surroundings and use them to craft an you know, impressive style, arsenal of his own that he can share with mean, others. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll never, that doesn't mean you I'll never try it. can also play as a non lethal pacifist or an agent of chaos. We wanted you to have the choice. Non lethal pacifist or But there is one chaos, iconic okay. ability for our shamanic protagonist possession. This mystical power allows you to take control of your foes and use their strengths and weapons against them, or use them to gain access to paths Kung still Fu ahead. Kung Fu with his mind, bruh. That's what that is. The Oddworld universe is a diverse place, and this means that there are some environments and situations that require a little more thought, patience, and stealth. You'll find dark and dangerous caves, heavily guarded industrial sites, and ancient forgotten lands. Here, we've built lots of opportunities for you to test your skills and find different ways to handle things. It won't be easy. If being hunted by an army backed by a shady and wealthy organization Terrible. isn't bad enough, there are also more dangers in the forms Damn. of natural obstacles, ancient traps, trials against swarming dark creatures, and industrial hazards yeah, that must be dodged, crossed, and avoided. Really Ultimately, Abe's journey is one of hope, freedom, and truth. There is a rich and engaging narrative to discover in a world full of lies. And we've been able to bring our characters to life like never before. In true odd world fashion, like your actions well, before I try it, like I might have to watch some people and play all those you managed to liberate along the way. You know? And we can't wait to see what you will do. Before I actually decide that like I actually want to try it, because uh, oh April 6th, okay. That's next month. It's a little over a full month away. Right? What's today? The third, yeah. And I'm not gonna lie, I remember this one too. And this one actually looked kind of lit to me. Like, I'm, I'm curious uh, to see how this is gonna go as well. It might be another one of those where I might want to watch a little bit of it without spoiling the story or anything. But I might just play it. Because <clears throat> it, look, it, it looks kind of dope. She definitely some kind of guardian. I mean, at the very least, the it feels like it looks beautiful. They're usually timid. <laughs> Something tells me you did not come to our village looking for forest creatures. Nah, 
we don't do that whole search for forest spirit. creatures now. I seek passage to the sacred mountain shrine. Oh damn. She's trying to get to a shrine this whole time. Is bound to the shrine's energy. But that power faded long ago. Of course there's some evil. That's like me and nah. Damn L. We got hug mugs too. This feels like it could be in the same lane as Black Myth Wukong or Sekiro. Traps I'm not saying it's gonna have the same level of difficulty as Sekiro, but Tangled in the tragedies of our past. It just feels like that kind of situation. You must help these spirits to reach the mountain. It's okay. Let the you have to go now. I just hope it don't end all sad, because I ain't trying to cry no thug tears, man. You know what I mean? Um, you know? Okay. So that, that's nice, too, that there's verticality and some traversing, because I don't think they showed that before. You must move on. I, they might have. I might have just forgot. Oh, she's the fox spirit. I knew it. I didn't know that at all. I, I, I don't know what she is. Oh, damn. Damn, yo. Oh, damn. It's always that one boss in the truck that makes you be like, yeah, this game was lit. And then they show up and you're like, yeah, I'm not playing it. Yeah, I'm scared. Nah, I'm gonna I'm, I'm probably play that though. Let's try it. August, okay. I, we talked about this when we were talking about Returnal. The death loop is an interesting one too. No I told him to treat his girl better. That's why she want to kill him. Bring it, baby. I need her in my life, although I don't want her to try and kill me, so maybe this not. This is Ramblin' Frank's matinee. This little ditty goes out to the handsome asshole trying to break our loop. Cold. The visionaries are ready to dance. Oh no. Nah. Are you? Toxic um. Not quite, to be honest. Cause this is another one where it's like once you get clapped, you loop back around. Like, I mean, what's going on, really? It's, it almost feels like a Bioshock situation, but not really. I don't know. Not really Bioshock. I'm, I'm thinking of, uh, you know, the later one. I forgot what it was called. I don't think it was Bioshock Infinite. It might have been. Clapped. Yep. <laughs> and it's like... It's a fake ass James Bond situation. <laughs> This is really some James Bond drawing. The way they're doing this. Those games were lit back in the day. And I'm hyped for the new one, but... I think Deathloop is actually gonna be lit. Am I like... Yo, you know he messed up. I think it's something crazy too, like, if she kills him, her loop ends, but he has to kill all those other people, all nine of them. Damn, yo. Oh. Oh. Damn. Yeah, that's a toxic relationship, no bro. <laughs> yeah, they really made this a James Bond. That's hilarious. Where you been I don't think that was an accident. Let's do it again tomorrow. I'm really just curious, like, do you have to get all nine without dying or eight or whatever it is, and then I think it's eight actually, and then you beat the game like that. 
But every time Song's you over, do that, you gotta start and so over. Rambling, Frank. The rest and I of think. You motherfuckers are next. Rambling Frank. Oh, it's like that, Frank. Damn, Rambling Frank. Tell me something now. Y'all made the Final Fantasy 7 Part 2. You know what I mean? They told us it was going to be released in parts anyways. Final Fantasy 7 Remake Part 2, I should say. Final Fantasy always going to be around. I only played the demo and it was it was entertaining. Uh, it was fun. I I wanted to get the game, but then I feel like it, it came out around the time other games were coming out or were going to come out, and I was like, see, this is it's tough for me to choose because I didn't grow up playing Final Fantasy, so I don't feel attached. But I, why is she in a, Oh, I thought that was a chicken suit. Materia hunter and elite special forces operative for the new Wu Tai government. We'll prove to our common enemy that Wu Tai is not to be trifled with. Okay. Members of Avalanche, we got this. I'm back. Excellent. Ah, there you are. Someone's been expecting you. What? Realize, realize. You. Sorry about that. That Loki anyway, felt like nice a Tekken be. Seven guest so character sucker. promo. Where's Clay? <laughs> <We lost. laughs> Slash like you trailer. Why? When Yuffie okay, was talking, right? why have they never put a well, Final Fantasy character? Yes, they did. I'm sorry. They're they the finally did. The in seven. Cool. Should we say hi? I forgot his name right now. No, better not. After what they've done, you got to. So took them all the way to Final Fantasy 15 or whatever. Hmm? 14. <laughs> Stop! <sighs> we gotta help. Get busy then. No freaking way. Okay. Yeah, we was, yeah, in the demo we had to fight that first big ass machine. I was kinda salty. Um, oh that's teamwork. <laughs> Whatever it is they're planning, that was smooth. better off out of it. I'm a sucker for good team moves, especially in games. Yeah, they do. Because this is so fire. Your sister. There you are. Who are these guys? That's why Black Clover got me. It just appeared. Final Fantasy VII remake. Now, let the hunt begin. Eight degree. That does it. Come on, man. Like. 6, 10, 21, okay. Get down here, Merc. Okay. Oh yeah, he was just calling him Merc like he didn't have a name. Like his name wasn't Cloud on some disrespectful <laughs> I forgot about that. See, in some ways, and y'all tell me if I'm wrong. But in some ways, I feel like it actually hurts the systems when they put it right next to the PS4. Like the PS5 right next to the PS4 because I feel like you see the differences better when you're actually playing. In these trailers, these shits damn near look the same. And it almost makes people be like, I can wait. That's just a little... I mean, look, it's not that it doesn't look better, it just doesn't look like so much more of an upgrade that like... You feel me? It's gonna have you being like, I need to go throw a hundred... Uh, like, Six hundred dollars down the drain, five hundred something dollars down the drain. I mean, I'm gonna get it. You know, I'm gonna get it. But I'm just saying, I I don't know that I would show them this closely. Like, I mean, that situation almost looked like you could just change this the PlayStation Four to being a brighter. You know I mean, it's giving it more brightness. That's what it feels like. Okay. Quality of life. That's what prioritize it this Oh, okay, okay. I feel like also the feel of it is really what's gonna make a big difference too, just because you know, frames per second go goes out in the PS5. But again, just looking, it's like, alright. 
I think it just makes you appreciate, you know, the, the PS4 and Xbox One's graphics, even, you know, more than you might have already. Photo modes have actually got a hold on me recently, but it's all Ghost of Tsushima's fault. So Sucker Punch, you get credit for that. Now I actually use it for other games. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> That's how ninjas do it. Yep. Man, I'm trying to be a ninja. You feel me? I ain't mad. I, I, I'd clap it up for y'all. I mean, it wasn't, it you know, like, it wasn't, like, crazy, you know, by any means. There wasn't, like, a whole lot of new reveals, but it's lit, nonetheless. You feel me? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. It was more so that there really, nothing was really revealed in this state of play. Uh, we knew about all these games already. This, the, pretty much all of these were announced in the PlayStation exclusives one before the PS5 even dropped. Uh, so, you feel me? Like, it was, but it was still good. Um, I'm still happy with it. Don't get me wrong. I'm excited. You feel me? I still have to cop my PS5, but y'all have seen how much of a problem that has been. But I appreciate y'all for watching this reaction. You know what I'm saying? I'm probably still gonna, like I said, make a shorter video because uh, this is about 30 minutes, so or, th or a little bit more than 30 minutes. Uh, but you know, my videos are not anywhere near this long. But yeah, so I'm gonna catch y'all next time. Y'all let me know what y'all are excited for. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And join the Afro Pirates because Yonkos need their pirates. I mean, how are we gonna how are we gonna conquer the sea without a with the sea of YouTube without a crew? It's not possible. So I'm gonna catch y'all later. Peace.